Welcome to the midweek Felixstowe News. I'm sorry it's a day later than expected because of that interview with Sam Dorling yesterday. Last week we met presenter Nigel Lungley of Felixstowe Radio and today we're meeting founder Trevor Lockwood at our town's own local radio station. Yeah, I started Felixstowe Radio because in 2004, 2005 there was a Community Broadcasting Act uh, that allowed us to have community um, radio stations. After many years of pirate radio, finally the government succumbed and started issuing licences and there are now 235 of us around the country with FM broadcast licences for small areas. We um, broadcast at 25 watts which gives us about uh, five or six mile radius I suppose. In Felix, of course, a lot of sea as well, so if you're out on a boat, you're perfectly all right. We're a community interest company, which is not a private limited company and it's not a charity, but we, uh, we can trade, but any profits we make, any assets we acquire, stay in the community. And even if they don't stay in Felix Stowe Radio, they must always be used for community use, which is a bit, a bit different. The Charity Commission will not accept community radio stations as being charitable. Like most organisations, I suppose, uh, we would rely on donations, but we take advertising in the, uh, on the radio station, and you'll see here we have a, a shop selling musical instruments, and that uh, does something to support us as well. Can I ask one, one question that's always, that bugs me about things like this sometimes, depending on the kind of heart that they, people do it in. Um, and that's as to say, acknowledged in Philips though, it would be extremely unlikely that a commercial company would start doing something like this. Do you see what you do in the same way that what Ipswich Community Radio does as being potentially a threat to business organisations that employ people and give them a wage? Well, what's more important, serving the community and providing information for the community uh, or you talk about providing wages mm -hmm. but the commercial radio stations that we have in this area are all operated by one company and that company is based in Jersey it doesn't pay any UK income tax so this the business case is not there in my opinion what is far more important is that we provide information to the local community. We provide a, a measure of training. I'd like to do a lot more than we do at the moment, but that is again is a case of funding to do that. We have it all in place. We could uh, uh, put a training program together. In fact, I'm talking to various bodies at the moment to try and do that. I think it's uh, essential that this country understands that it needs highly skilled people and in the creative media and we are a great way in which people can acquire that sort of uh, training and uh, skill. On Tuesday we experienced one of those wonderful winter days we sometimes get. Time for a stroll along the front and time to check out the scaffolding for the pier's paint job. Don't forget that if you've got a local news story for Felix Stone News, you can get in touch anytime by text on 07758 022842 or you can contact us via our contact form on www.felixstonenews.tv. I must say it's interesting to have a chat to some of the fishermen, most of whom haven't caught anything much today, but they say the fish are out there. And we'll have a look at sea fishing off the beach in one of our little clips coming up in the next couple of weeks. Hope you're here to watch it.